If you are looking for new ways to succeed with video marketing, then you're in the right place. Be sure to watch this entire video as we guarantee it will be worth your time. Okay, here we are into the dashboard of Voice Buddy, and I have a pro account. Um, they gave me a review access and they gave me a pro account with my review access. So I'm going to have features that you're not going to have on the front end. You'll have to buy the pro account in order to have these features, but I'm basically only going to show you what it is you want to know. And that's how it sounds like and how it works. And basically what it is, is it's a text to speech engine that's combined two popular, uh, text to speech engines together. One's called WaveNet. One's called Polly. One's by Google, WaveNet, Google's by WaveNet, and Amazon Polly is by Amazon. So anyway, um, and I'm going to show you how those work and some basic things. It's, it's quite a program. There's a learning curve to it. So I always recommend that you go down here, you go to the help section, you push that button there, and you go down to the training. And you start there because this program does have a lot to it. And there is a bit of a learning curve to it. But the idea behind it is, is they were trying to give you options to make it because the problem with text to speech is, is that it has a little bit of roboticness to it. I mean, it's livable, but it still ain't there to where it sounds like an actual human. And they're trying to make it so that you can make it as human like as possible. So when you make videos or whatever, you can um, make it sound just like a human or as close to a human as you can make it sound. And there are a lot of features on these. So we're going to start out with text to speech uh, WaveNet by Google. And the first thing you want to do is make sure you name your um, uh, campaign. And we're going to call it test W3 because I've been in three <laughs> because I've been in here uh, toying around and you got these different options here but i'll get back to those the first thing you want to do is make sure that you take it off arabic on the translation and you put it to english that's if you want it to translate to english okay and then you have to choose a voice and and on wavenet they got a bunch of different options here for different male and female a b c d e and f i'm just going to use male a and then you want to make sure you got these different options here for the different languages. And I'm going to make sure I push uh, English US. And then you can uh, take the text off a URL or you can upload a file in it. If you use a video, it won't take the text off the video. It'll just take the text off the page. So what I'm going to do is I've got a dog training USA. It's a video. Uh, it's a YouTube channel. And I made dog crate reviews. And I'm just going to go there. Um, it's on YouTube. It's called Dog Training USA. I'm not trying to promote my channel. But I did that in text-to-speech. And if you want to hear that, you can go to Dog Training USA. It's on. Uh, it's got dog crate reviews um, in the uh, Dog Training USA channel. And uh, you can hear what uh, text-to-speech sounds like in a dog crate review. And I'm going to copy that URL. And I'm going to paste it in here. And then you want to go and fetch the text. Okay. And it came up with the text on the page. And I'm going to get rid of all this stuff here. Because this is just a basic overview of basic. It, it's just a basic uh, demo is what it is. It's just very basic. So you can do a lot more with this. There's a learning curve to it. And you want to make sure whenever you make any adjustments that you highlight this. And you have in on. Here's the options you have on WaveNet. You got the select emphasis. You got the different options here. I'm just going to highlight this and I'm going to push moderate. Okay. And you got uh, select save as or say as. You got these different options here. I'm not going to use any of those. And I am going to put a break right here. So I need to select this right here. And then I want to put a one second break there. Okay. And then you can ch change the pitch. I'm not going to mess with that, but you got these options here and you got uh, the speed. You can adjust that and you got audio. You can add some sound effects here. And then you got paragraph and sentence. 
and there's a lot to this program and I'm not going to be able to go through all of it. This video is going to be long enough as it is. But anyway, when you go to render, you need to make sure that's highlighted. Make sure all these options are ticked. You've got whatever language you want, whatever voice you want, whatever translation you want. And then you make sure you go down here to choose and then you push submit. And then it will take that and it will translate that this text into uh, speech. It will take this text and turn it into speech. Sorry, I couldn't spit that out there for a second. But anyway, I'm going to let you listen to what this sounds like. It's got a pause in it. It will have a pause in it right after uh, Dog Crate Reviews. And then it will say, Hage versus Smonter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. This is by WaveNet. Dog Crate Reviews. Hage versus Smonter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. Okay, um, I'm going to play that again just so you can hear it again. Dog Crate Reviews. Hage versus Smonter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. I don't think that one sounds too bad. But anyway, I'm going to take this break out of it, that one second break out of it. And I'm going to highlight it again. I don't want to copy it. I'm going to highlight it again. And then you got to make sure if you're going to do it again, that you go back and do all these, uh, put it back to English and choose the same. Uh, if you want, unless you want to change it, uh, mail a English and all that. And then we got it highlighted. So then we choose submit. And it'll do it again, but this time it don't have the pause in it. That's what I'm trying to show you. So we'll just do this first one. Dog crate reviews. Page versus Smonter heavy duty dog crate review. Okay, that was the first one I done, and now here's the second one without the pause. Dog crate reviews. Page versus Smonter heavy duty dog crate review. Okay, I'm going to play that again so you can hear it again. Dog Crate Reviews Hage versus Smonter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. So you can see the difference between the pause. And it actually, when I look up here, it added two seconds. So that's something that you, I thought the pause was a little long myself. It was longer than what I wanted. So you might be something you have to adjust um, when you toy around. Because there, there is a learning curve to this. So anyway, now we're going to go on into uh, Amazon Polly and do the same thing. Okay, it's got some different options, but you also, you want to make sure that you um, test A. You want to make sure that you name your um, uh, campaign. And then you got select emphasis, same, same options here. Say, say as you got some little different options in this one. And then the break. And then the pitch, it's got pitch on this one. I don't think the other one had pitch. And then you got select speed. Uh, stress level. And I'm not going to use all these options because this video is going to be long enough as it is. Um, you got, this is an option they didn't have on there. Soft, whispered, selected effects. I don't know what those are. And then you got breeze, which I don't know what that is. Paragraph and sentence, just like the other one. But you always want to make sure that you go down here and you uh, make sure that these three boxes here are pushed. So you want to put this back to English if it, you want it to translate in English, that is. And then you want... See, so you got different. Uh, uh, we're going to choose Matthew Standard. Matthew Standard. And then uh, you got these the same as the other ones, I think. We're going to just use uh, English USA. And then I'm going to go back to my Dog Crate Review channel, copy the URL, copy, go back to Voice Buddy, plug that in, paste, and then fetch text. The text is up here. And then I'm just going to get rid of all this other, just like I did on the other one. I mean, I could do all that, but 
This is just a basic demo, give you an idea what it sounds like, how it works. And um, you always want to make sure you highlight this. Okay. Then we're going to go back to the emphasis is moderate. And then the break is one second. Oops, I got a, I made a mistake there. Um, we got to go back to here. Copy this. One second. Okay. And then you go and you um, make sure these are all ticked. And then you got to highlight that, which I didn't do. And then you choose submit. Okay, here's the uh, rendered text-to-speech from Amazon Polly, and I'm going to play that, and it has the pause after Dog Crate Reviews. Dog Crate Reviews. Hyga versus Smarter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Dog Crate Reviews. Hyga versus Smarter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. Okay, as you can tell, it struggles with the word Hague because it is Hague on uh, Amazon Polly. I think the other one sounded a little better, but that's uh, something that you'll have to adjust. Maybe you can adjust the uh, way it, uh, you type it in or something else. But anyway, I'm going to get rid of this, the break there, and then we'll see, do just what we did on the other one. You highlight this, and you always have to make sure when you do it again, that you tick these boxes here to where you want them to be. And I want to make sure that that's on Matthew Standard. Okay, it's highlighted. Matthew Standard English. English. Matthew. Then go to Submit. Okay, this is without the pause. We'll play this again. Dog crate reviews. Hyag versus Smarter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. Okay, that was the first one, and now here's the second one. Dog crate reviews. Hyag versus Smarter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. I'll play that again. Dog crate reviews. Hyag versus Smarter Heavy Duty Dog Crate Review. Okay, you can see that it struggles with the word Hag. But anyway, that's just the basics of Voice Buddy, and you can do a ton of different things with it. And um, there's much more that you can do with it than what I showed you. Um, you got all this stuff over here, these different options here, and some of these are in Pro Account, so I'm not even going to show them to you. Um, so this is a pretty big program. Um, basically, I think people just want to know what it sounds like and what you can do with it. And that's what I showed you. So anyway, um, that's it for this video. If you like my videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, push that notification bell, and make a comment. And if you want my exclusive custom bonuses, all you have to do is go through a link somewhere on this page, go to my bonus page, push the button on my bonus page, Purchase the program and you'll get access to all my exclusive custom bonuses. Well, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you. Have a nice day. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Thank you again. Hi, this is Yogesh Agarwal and in this video, I'm going to show you how voice buddy works and going to give you a brief walkthrough on the entire system. So once you log in, you will see this screen. This is our dashboard where you can get a complete overview of all your projects. Here you can see the audios that has been generated total count of audios, videos and sub users of your account. And in this section, you can see all the audios generated from Amazon's Poly Engine. And here you can see all the audios from Google's WaveNet platform. Now, if you want to play an audio, you can just play directly from here. Or if you want to download it, you just need to click on this button to download this particular audio. And here you can see a graph according to the days of like how many Google Google's WaveNet 
audios has been generated and Amazon's poly audio has been generated. So this is all about the dashboard. Now let's move to the main system that is to create a audio. So let's see how the audio engine for Google's WaveNet works. So you need to go here and click on this option and you will see the screen. Here first you need to enter a project name. I'll just enter as test voice ready one and here you can give a VSL. So all you need to do is to copy paste your script here. So once you do that you can use our toolbar to do all the manipulations that you want. So before starting the manipulation, if you want to convert this text into any other language, then you can just go ahead to the bottom of the screen here. You, you are seeing something called translate. You just need to select the language in which you want these text to be translated. So once you select the text, I mean the language, just need to click on translate button and then this will be translated in the desired language which you have selected here so this is all about translation so once you have done the translation you can go ahead and start creating your audio so the first step here is to customize it for example if you want to customize how this gets spoken you can use all the options that are available here in the toolbar for example if you want to give a good emphasis on this particular word you just need to select this word and uh, click on select emphasis and select the option that you want so now I will select as moderate as you can see the tax has been added here so for this particular words the emphasis level will be moderate so this is how you can add the emphasis and here let's say you have a number here 15006 so now you if you want the audio to be spoken as numbers then you just need to select this and click on select C as and then select characters so now instead of calling it as 15006 this will be called as 15006 so this is how say as will work and let's say if you want to give a pause in your audio all you need to do is to select the word and then click on break and then set the milliseconds of the pause where you want so this is how this break option works and uh, this is the pitch you can select the text where you want to adjust the pitch of audio and uh, just set the pitch that's it so this is how you can set the pitch now let's say if you want this three words to be spoken out very fast then you need to select those words click on select speed and then click on x fast we have a lot of options here you can just play around as per your requirements so now this is how it will work that is the speed so because recently there is these three words will be spoken very fast so this is all about the editor we have few more options here like audio a paragraph break or a sentence break you can just use it as per your requirements and once you have completed your customization just select the language here you can see a lot of voices just select the one which you want and then click on submit so now the audio will be generated and it will be shown here you can just play it here and see it and if everything is okay you can download by clicking on these three buttons and then click on download so this is how you can generate and download the text now we have few more options here called as versions 
So let's say in this VSL you made a mistake. You want to give a break here, but you forgot. So now what you can do is you just need to select here, select the break and then click on submit again. Okay, you need to select this. Submit again. So now what will happen is another audio will be generated and it will be called as V2. And here you can also add the notes. For example, I forgot to set break and it will be saved. So whenever you select this particular audio, all these versions will be loaded so that you can manage the task easily. So and now if you want to edit the first version, all you need to do is to click on this button because by default, the second version will be shown here. So this is all about Google's WaveNet platforms audio generator. Now let's move to Poly. So here in the Poly, we have exact same way and the process of generating audio as we have seen in WaveNet that is you need to enter a project name here and then you need to put in your VSL script here and you can select all the customization options available here like emphasis level say as that is you can uh, if you if you want to mention the date properly you just need to select the date and select this option like this we have a lot of options here in say as the breaks, the pitch level, the speed of audio, the stress level of that particular words which you select, special effects such as soft spoken and whispered and the paragraph and sentence break. So all you need to do is select and use the option as per your requirement and once done you just need to click on submit and if in case if you want to convert the script into any other language we just need to select uh, it and then select the language here and click on translate so that this will be translated into your desired language and once that is done after that you can start working on customization so once that is done you will see the options like we have seen in wavenet for, for example let me just submit And here you see we have caught our first version like this you can create as many versions as you want so this is all about poly editor now in the audio list you can see all the audios that you had generated and in the video created you can create a video using just the images and you can add a audio to it like the audios that we have generated right now you can just embed it directly just by clicking on this button so all the audios that you have created will come up here you just need to select the audio select the images and click on submit so that's all you have to do to create the video and we have a lot of bonuses here the gallery video gallery and thumbnail gallery so all the videos that has been generated will show up here and uh, the custom images will come up in our thumbnail gallery and if you want to upload in youtube you can do that here so all you need to do is to enter the title tags description and uh, select the date and time when you want to upload it the channel time zone category video thumbnail and click on submit and now if you want to convert the title and description into any other language then all you need to do is to select your decide language and click on translate so all the title tags and description will be converted into that language so this is how the YouTube upload works and you can add any number of YouTube account based on your membership level here all you need to do is to click on add account and then you can add it and to create a sub user you just need to click on sub user create sub user here you can create the sub users of your account so that is if you create a sub user basically he will be using 
your account but with his own username and password so this is all about voice buddy thank you so much so if you want to get the best possible deal please check out the link below